she was fun, exciting, had such a big laugh. You could hear her wherever you were in the house. She was just a beautiful, loving, caring person inside and out. Ellie um, was sadly involved in an accident. She left to walk to school and catch the school bus. Um, sadly, she was knocked over. We were airlifted to St George's Hospital um, where she fought for a week. Um, she didn't make it. Um, uh, Ellie donated her organs at the end. Um, it was a very, very sad time. Didn't want Ellie to be left in a hospital overnight. So Chestnut Tree House kindly went up that night after her operation and picked Ellie up to bring her back to Chestnut Tree House so that she could rest in uh, the special star room. She was tucked up in a duvet and um, she had a radio on and night light and all the things that I would want for her, you know, in the, those last moments. When Ellie died, then someone called Claire was fitting to me at school. We sometimes do activities which involve Ellie and stuff, and that has helped me. Claire's been out to see Sophia, but we've also had um, ongoing care. The door's always open, so it's, it's lovely. I think I would always be sad, but Claire has helped me not be as sad as I was before. I did um, a run, 45 laps around our school field, and I raised £218 for Chestnut Tree House. My legs were very tired the next day, but it wasn't that difficult. I knew I was doing it for a good reason. Ellie would say that I am very proud of you and thank you for doing that run, I think.